Hey everyone, I'm Pedder, and if you've seen any of my previous videos, then you probably know I am a big fan of Dex and everything it can do. For those of you who don't know, I love it, and I think it's a great feature of a phone that's built in and is worth paying a premium for for a Samsung device. Just one of those little extras that you get included. You may have even seen my previous video on my, oh, my big budget Samsung Dex setup, including the best Samsung device you can get which a lot of people said isn't budget, but if you shop around, you can definitely get it for budget price. And compared to other dongles you get, you definitely get more features. I'm gonna link that video in the description below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. So with a thumbs up. However, sometimes I want a more portable version of Dex, more laptop-esque version. And that Samsung keyboard case, that's almost the price of a laptop and it's definitely more than the price of a Chromebook. So, this is my budget DeX setup. The first component is a Bluetooth keyboard. So I like this one. It's a simple one from the Omaton. It's not rechargeable, but it is Bluetooth, it is slim. Like that. The thickest part of it is just the battery compartment. It just takes two AAA batteries, which I like. You know, it is quite handy to have, rather than charge up another device and making sure it's always charged. I could just keep a couple of AA batteries in my bag with it. And it is definitely, definitely light as well. Struggle to find an Android version with a number keypad, so if you do know any suggestions, let me know in the comments. But for now, this one does me perfectly, apart from working on Excel, because a number keypad does come in handy quite a bit. Other than that, though, the keys feel quite nice. They're not mechanical, but not too mushy either. And then we've got the inverted, key, the inverted T keys there as well. Caps, shift, function, everything else you need, straight on there. Really handy, really solid piece of kit, and it feels pretty durable. No flex, very slight flex, so it wouldn't take too much force on it because it is plastic, but yeah, feels pretty solid. And it is made and designed especially for Windows and Android. Next up is a Bluetooth mouse. I picked up this one from JE Tech from Amazon, which I think is one of Amazon's top sellers, and it was literally like $8.99 in the UK, which is is buttons, do you mean there's no dongle needed, which is a struggle with some things because you need the dongle with some of them and it needs to plug into USB, that's just annoying, it means adapters and dongles and whatever. But this one is light, durable, and I'm pretty happy to just chuck that in the bag and continue. Battery life seems okay, and it just takes a single AAA battery. So pretty much so far my setup is entirely AAA battery powered, so I will keep a pack of batteries in my bag just in case, but it seems like a long lasting battery anyway. It's got the wheel, right mouse button, left mouse button, and a couple of extra customizable buttons on the side as well as a rubberized grip. And it's a pretty matte texture finish to the top as well, which I like. And you can change the CPI settings on it as well, which is handy for some people. I don't tend to dial around that much in that kind of thing. I don't use it too much video editing, just mainly shopping around and looking online, and I definitely don't use it for gaming. Last, but by no means least, the Tab S7 Plus. So this is my go-to. Uh, for a lot of things now, it has quickly become a big part of my life. I I've had an iPad since the iPad 2, which was a thick boy, it was just basically a large overgrown iPhone, and I've watched them develop and become something else, and it has been great. However, this is something else, especially this larger form factor. To display, amazing. And when you're using it in landscape as well, the camera is in the right place. So Zoom calls and, and things like that, conference calls, it is ideal. So altogether, it's a pretty sweet and simple setup. I've just got the tablet on a Samsung case, which I'll link a review in the description below. That's it. I'm happy to just keep that in my bag and I could work like this out and about. Whether I'm working on documents, writing a script for a video, which I don't tend to do. As you can probably tell, these are all just ad-lib. Once I start talking, I cannot shut up and I find it impossible to strip strip to a script stick to a script i've never stripped to a script honest so this is it what do you think of my portable budget deck setup yes it's a little bit more bulk than take than just the keyboard folio case but at 250 280 pound that is an expensive price to pay for a case on a tablet yes it makes it more portable user friendly out and about like it makes it a lot more laptop-esque but at least with this i can move the screen around and i've got the keyboard independently it works really well for me I'm really happy with it. Thank you for watching, and if you do want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe, and a like would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. Peace.